Hello, and welcome back to the fate of Iberia. So, last time we died, and now we are our son, and we have a lot to do, because we're in a war, which, to be fair, we're winning. We've just defeated their army, it's retreating back to Aquitaine, we're sieging uh, the last bit of the war goal, which is gonna, in of, in of itself, give me more um, war score for the land, but also gonna activate our ticking war score again, so we'll gain like an extra little boost to war score, so all of that's good. So, that kind of is solving itself. We um, are now the head of faith, which a lot of people hate us for and generally consider to be a bad idea. Um, we also uh, have a bunch of vassals who've just converted to the religion that isn't ours and, lovely as it was, converted all of their uh, holdings away to their religion, which um, was just exactly what the tooltip said at the time. It didn't say the ruler would convert. It obviously said everything will convert. That's a level of sarcasm in there. Um, but yes, so we need to reconvert all of this land. We're just going to take a little bit of time. Luckily, we've got a lot of time to get there. But we got to get eight things converted before the end of the hostility phase that we're still trying to move ourselves into. So there's a lot of stuff to do. But first of all, let's look at our character because, well, he's the first thing we need to worry about. So, we have a court event. Feeling useful. My enthusiastic mother potters around court aimlessly each day, making clear her yearning for a purpose I am too busy to provide. The day she finally corners me. Well, there you are, Amir. You must, um, uh, to me, you are still my little boy, you know. Let me take some of the burden from your shoulders. There's still so much I can teach you. So what can I do? I can give her a court position. I can say, have you thought of giving your life to Allah? Just take any job. I think that's probably good. Are you a poet? She is, n she is not a poet. Why are the poet positions always open to uh, non-poets? Or we can just lose 10 opinion. I'll take the 10 opinion hit. Uh, what core artifacts have we got now? We have this one, which is displayed, displayed, displayed. This is the only thing not displayed. Uh, two of three. Yes, yeah, so we have three of those out there already. Four, four, three of three. Yeah, so there's nothing we need to display. I think we're generally okay. Although this one gives us renown and this one gives us prestige per powerful vassal on the council. I'm going to take that one down and put up the other one in the center here. Just because I think that will work out a little bit better for us. Getting that extra little bit of renown means this is going to start ticking up. And we will be house head once the game recalculates who house head is. Right, next thing. Uh, just want to clear these things out. Um, make sure that we're using the right stuff. So all of this should be fine. All of that is now fine. Great. Uh, next thing, just make sure that all of these positions are still filled in. Um, somebody was saying, why do I not put in a court jester? I thought it was because it made that people dis... I thought people disliked me for assigning them a court jester. Um, I thought that was something it did when you assigned a court jester. There you go, effects on court jester does this. I mean, it doesn't actually make them dislike you. I thought they did when you when you first assigned the position to them. Hmm. Don't know. Well, maybe we should have a court jester then. Let's make it a family member. Uh, it's gonna be you. You have 66 opinion of me. Oh no, there you go, minus 20. That's the reason I've not been assigning court uh, jesters, is because I don't like that minus 20. However, this guy still likes me at 66, so there you go. You're my court jester. Which is probably going to trigger more things to happen. My sister can be a musician because we very rarely have someone who can actually fill that role. And then we'll see the court event in a second where it says, Oh, why did you assign your sister to that role? I need a role. And so on and so forth. Right. Uh, we need a lifestyle. Uh, so stewardship works, however, the best part of stewardship right now is golden obligations, and we get that for free, I think, for being uh, in this, yeah, we get that for free for being in the struggle phase. So right now, I don't see any reason to go uh, down stewardship, and to be honest, our education sucks, so we only got a 10% bonus. So, what are we going to do? Well, diplomacy... I guess if we went for flexible truces, that means that we can have short truces with no penalty for breaking them, or no prestige penalty, which means that we can get more of this break truce with an involved ruler if we want to rush that. 
But really what I want to do is I want to convert provinces. And I think we want to go down here for that. There must be something that makes converting... There you go. The time it takes to convert a county is no longer increased if that faith has a higher fervor than your faith. Oh, but our faith has a hundred fervor, so that doesn't matter. How about this one? There you go. Convert faith in county uh, progress speed plus 25%. If it's going to take... Well, if it's going to take two years, we're basically cutting off six months from each one. That's not bad. I think we'll do that. So we're going to go learning focus. Now, we are pretty young. We could go development growth on our learning focus, which would potentially allow us to... Um, yeah, that, that would potentially allow us to get a lot more tech. The other option is maybe going piety on it. Maybe that would allow us to do some things with piety. I mean, we're, if we're already going down this route, we could get more piety from buildings. I'm not entirely sure what we would do with it. Maybe just make holy orders, but it's something to think about. I'm going to go development growth, try and get down to this one. And then maybe jump down scholar instead. Yeah, maybe that's what I do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get down to uh, we're going to get down to this one. Then we're going to jump into scholar and get some of that and then maybe switch out. Yeah. So let's choose scholarship focus. Bunch of learning, which is something I don't usually put a lot of points into, but you know, that's good. Oh, it also makes other characters more likely to accept when you demand conversion. I didn't know that, but that's very useful to know. Cool. Right. Uh next step. Council positions, I think, is a fairly safe one. Spy master has to be done first, as it has to be somebody who's going to like us in the end, which limits the pool significantly. You dislike me right now, as no alliance is powerful clan vassal. We could maybe fix some of these no alliances. Have we got a sister? Uh, we do have a sister, but have we married her? We have. We've also married you. Unmarried player heir. He is my brother, but we could marry him off. Does this guy have a daughter? He does have a daughter. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to marry your daughter. Uh, I suppose to me. I didn't really think about that. But yes, we can do that. Chance of the children being inbred. But that's okay. Right. Send that through. I see seems fine. Uh, and I can't assign him in the position just now. We'll wait a second for that to go through. Two. Oh, also, while you're uh, here, just put in a ruler and send you over this way. Right. Just waiting for that to come back. Any day now you can accept the marriage. Court event. Our courtier scorned. Okay, shocking. Didn't see that event coming. Right. There we go. We've now formed an alliance as a clan vassal. Now you can have this position. Now you don't hate me. Everyone's happy. Marshall. That's going to be you. You're best at the job. Steward. That's going to be you. Chancellor. That's going to be you. You dislike me because I hold some of your holdings. However, I can now pass these over to you because uh, we have no reason to hold on to them. Yeah, so I'm just going to grant you this vassal. Right? This vassal is within his lands. Has one holding. Right? Yes, this seems good. I ha I grant you this vassal. Now, he might... I think you also desire my capital. No, you desire Lampala. Lampala is part of this one. Yeah, I don't know what I can do about that. But, you know, I can definitely make you a little bit happier. You, why do you hate me? Just generally you do. Okay, that's fine. Right. Um. Where are we going now? I suppose there's no reason for a wife to be on a cyst ruler. Because we don't really need the stewardship. We could go patronage, but I think we're probably best on court politics right now. We were taking a negative due to um, like people just not liking us due to personal diplomacy. Now we're taking a positive from it. It's not much, but it's a little bit at the start. And now we unpause. My daughter has been born. Cool. Uh, not an heir, but useful to have. Right, we'll do a little bit of splitting up here. Uh, so, yeah, select them all. One's going to head here. One's going to head here. One's going to head here. And one's going to stay where we are. Go. This is just a way of gaining supply back. 
We're a dangerous faction. It's not actually dangerous uh, because it's weaker than us. We're also now the dynasty head. You would like to send me a gift of 150 gold? Uh, yeah, sure. That seems good. <laughs> I don't really see a negative in that. Low durability on the Catalan mail. Uh, we don't need it because it's grey. We can just let that uh, time out. Right. Carry on. Let the siege go. We're gaining supply everywhere else. This is all great. Uh, we gained 300 lifestyle experience thanks to our uh, wife, which is great. Also gets his focused student, so more learning. Looking really good on the whole learning front. Although we just lost a learning. I guess we had a temporary one somewhere. That's fine. Soul of Iron. You're a master smith. Yes, we've seen this one. Uh, we can be armed like the Romans, potentially. And um, we get uncooperative guilds. Make a uh, make a thing or make the guilds happy. I'm going to make the guilds happy and send you away. That's fine. Finish your siege. Oh, unpausing the game really helps with that, huh? Okay, so now we've got our ticking war score back. So that was 15% from ticking war score. Plus uh, another 8% from taking it. Uh, we're, we have no war score to gain from battles. Therefore, we want to wait 9 months. Or nine ticks. I think it's actually twelve days. I think if this act is this twelve days or is this? I suppose we can check on the end of the month, right? End of the month. Oh, it's every month. Okay, cool. Oh dear, the game was not paused. <laughs> okay, purchase truce. Sure, I'll take your money. Contract assistance. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'll take your money. I won't then pay you it back to let you join my uh, war. And send this person under my vassal. You hold a lot of titles. I'm not going to do that. That will backfire. Um, we call a hunt or a grand feast. We don't need to do that yet. Dangerous faction. Liberty faction. Now we can kill a liberty faction. By gaining an alliance with a clan vassal. So like you have a son. Your son is going to marry my daughter. Cousin? No. Uh, your son is going to marry my daughter. Matrilineal. Okay, just normally. Let's go. That should be fine. So that will kill him out of the faction. What's this? Finger bones of a Malik. Uh, I'm not going to pay you any money for anything. Although, yeah, I'm not going to pay you any money for anything. That's fine. Although that didn't actually ask for money. Uh, but that's fine. Right. Chill. We have formed an alliance. It's killed the faction. That is one nice thing about having clan vassals is that, um, you know, they all want alliances and therefore you can quite easily kill off factions with it. Alright, wait here. Beat them up. Nice. That's a 100% war score. Oh, we've captured somebody, right? Uh, otherwise, we'd be at 96. How much are you worth money wise? Um, you are worth 100 gold. I will take my 100 gold. You, convert, join me. Uh, you, how much are you worth? Nothing? Alright, convert, join me. We're getting a bunch of um, c commanders from their side by the looks of it, judging by the outfits. There we go. Convert, join me. That's all fine. We just lost some more score, but we're about to gain like a lot back, so that's fine. Um, dangerous faction. Uh, you want a seat on the council. You're not good enough for a seat on the council. You're a powerful vassal. You have no nobody. I c like you have no relations whatsoever who need to be married. Okay. You have a my cousin. Okay. Um, my cousin will marry... Oh, is this filtered? Oh, yeah. All. There we go. But they have to be related to me. So let's see what you do. You are going to marry my player heir. So my player heir is going to marry my cousin. Does mean that we get feeble in our family line. That's not great to have in your with your heir. Well, I mean, it's our brother, which he shouldn't inherit. So this is fine. Yeah, you two are going to marry. That's going to get us an alliance. Cool, which will kill the faction. 
as I was saying, we'll kill the faction. That seems good. They're going to run out of people to add soon. And we still have some marriages left, in theory. Right. 100% war score. Slightly more difficult than initially anticipated, but we have now taken this land. It gets us devotion. Uh, we didn't have any allies in here, and it also gives us some fervor. Oh, it decreases our fervor and increases Catholicism's uh, fervor. Interesting. Anyway, I'll take that. Disband. This land here is all going to go to one person. Now, do you have an alliance with me? No. Does anyone up here have an alliance? You're Lapla. I could give Lapla to... Yeah, I could give him the duchy. There's a logic about giving him the duchy because even though he holds one that's... Or he holds a couple that are out over here, it'll make this person like me more without having to give them this land. Yeah, and we can have an alliance. We already have an alliance because... Um, yeah, we already have an alliance. Through marriage. Yeah, okay. That's fine. In fact, he's the person we literally just got an alliance with. I want to usurp your title. Costs us some money, but we'll do that. Pushes us more hostility phases along, which is great. Uh, so we get that one and that one. Acquire a claim. Oh, so she gets acquire a claim... And we get triggered the uh, thing. I like that. So we kind of win on both sides. I'm now going to grant you. Oh, everything's recently got. Okay. Be very careful. Grant you this. He is now extremely happy with us because we've given him a ton of land. This now means that this guy likes us more. Because he no longer desires that land. Okay. Cool. So that worked. Yeah, that seemed to work very well. Um, I think I'm happy with that. It's moved us a lot closer to hostility as well. Okay, cool. Get rid of these. Um, This is all fine. Air is in line to inherit titles. All of that's fine. He's in line to inherit this one as well now that we just gave out. Because our family is so... Uh, Close together, to put it nicely. Okay. This seems fine. What's the next step? We'll probably let some of our troops reinforce and then accept the fact that we're going to lose a bunch of troops soon, which is going to make this faction seem stronger. We should probably try and kill the faction before that happens. How much... You bring 46% to a 67% faction? That's crazy. Okay, anyway, 10%. Do you have, like, somebody who needs married? No. Do you? No. Do you? Absolutely not. Okay, well, that, that doesn't make it very easy to marry into your families if you have nobody to marry. Um, that's fine, I guess. Right, let's maybe try and do some realm management. We've never done this, so I think this makes sense. I mean, look at it. It's horrible. First things first, we're going to make this our capital. So we're moving our realm capital down here. That is within the same kingdom, so that all works out fine. Let me just check something. Yeah, so that's all messed up anyway, so, right. I was just checking if we switched it to a different kingdom, would we be happier? The answer is absolutely not. Right, so move our capital here. We're now getting the capital bonuses in this one. This seems great, because now we're then getting that multiplied by the Great Mosque of Cordoba. Lots of good stuff happening there. This now means that we have these two, but we don't really have a particular need for them. They are within the same duchy. The duchy doesn't exist. Cool. Next up, let's zoom out a little bit and figure out what's going on here. Yeah, this is messed up. Um, the faction's for liberty, isn't it? So, we don't really care? Yeah, actually, we're quite happy for that to drop down to the next level if it needs to. So, if the liberty faction fires, we can just accept it. Some of these guys need to lose about half the land that they're holding. That would be ideal. Because then we could start to give out land to people. You're part of this Duchy of Granada, which doesn't exist. Um, is there anyone underneath here? There is. So we could potentially get the Duchy of Granada out of there by giving it to this person. But the problem is then this Granada would be up there. So I, this is where it kind of falls apart, some of your realm management. It's just trying to work out where we've got opportunities. But this up here, Cordoba. 
Um, Visu holds all the land. Wait, is this Cordoba? No, this is Cumbra. Because this is Cordoba. Yeah. So, this one right here is a good potential duchy for us. Uh, most of the land is held by this dude right here. Sorry, let's just zoom out. Right. Most of the land is held by this dude. So, if we could give it to him. Giving him a duchy knocks him out from underneath Bea. Um... I think that would be good. It weakens Bea. Actually, um, let me go and look at the guy who's a powerful vassal uh, for a second here. Your account level one. That's really annoying because the fact he's account level really causes us some issues because all of these are directly under his control. We've got no way to reduce his power in like fancy ways. Um... You have no stewardships. So you wouldn't be able to effectively use it. So if we kill them, that would work in theory. He's probably close to death. He is with frozen grief. He might just die off, which would solve our problems. Hmm. Yeah, he, he's probably just going to die off. Problem is this land doesn't get split up at all. Is this all within one duchy? No, it's kind of mixed. Hmm. Don't really know what we can do with that there. Bayer's not really a problem. Anyone else a problem in here? No. So I, I said we we're going to do management, but I actually don't think there's anything to do. There's nothing we want to do right now. Yeah. Oh, that's one level too high. We could make Toledo and potentially give that all to one person. But I, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I don't need to do any of this. Let's just unpause. Level of devotion went up. That's good. Uh, clear out these. Grand Feast, Hold Court. That seems good. Let's do it. Child of Two Mothers. An unusual case has reached my court. Two women claim that the baby boy is theirs. None of the villagers can stand as witnesses, saying that it's as if the child appeared out of thin air. No one knew what the women were uh, knew that the women were expecting or adopting. Nothing. The mystery has captivated the people. And while we may never know how this all happened, I must resolve this conundrum. What decision should I make for the future of this child? Uh, cut it in half. Yes, uh, that's the King Solomon way. Um, the youngest woman, as she has more of her life to raise the child. The eldest woman, or I will raise the boy as my own. No, I think we're fine. He doesn't have like a great genetic trait. I think we can leave him. I mean, do either of these people like matter? You're my sister. You're. Wait a second. You're my sister, and you're my marshal. So I'm either gonna. Annoy my sister, or I'm going to annoy my marshal. Oh. Well. Okay, wait a second. Oh, they must be both be, um, like, pushing for somebody. So I was saying, oh, so Sada or Samira. One of these two wanderers will be the mother. Okay. So in which case I want my marshal's opinion. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Merging of cultural identities. We do not merge. Yes. In ancient times. My lord, I'm a genealogist. Uh, no, we don't need any of that. We need the renown. Thank you very much. Right. Cool. And carry on. Right. Which one of you is annoying? You are. Okay. Okay. My marshal, who I literally just raised opinion with. Nice. Nice. Um, we're out of people to marry off to him. Because our brother is betrothed. Yeah, my sisters are married. My daughter is betrothed. We are already betrothed. We could, in theory, marry again. But you don't have any daughters to marry. Or sisters. Hmm. Do you have more children after this? No. You're you're exactly at the limit of oh, that it shows. I was just checking there. Well, we could really do with another daughter. Any of those on the way? No. You're a gardener though. Uh let's find ourselves another wife. Yeah. Maybe one with an alliance. That's a pretty good alliance, actually. You're fairly strong and nearby. Well, you know what? Let's let's grab an actual alliance marriage. That seems good. 
Uh, good, that's married. My last chance. What to press your claim on what? Pra Pravia? No. May your journey be swift. Go away. Um. Hmm. How do we get an alliance with one of these? I guess we could try and be stronger as well, which we are naturally getting due to reinforcing. Hmm. But we are going to weaken very, very quickly the moment our mercenary companies run out, which is in eight months. Hmm. I think I need to kill this guy. That's not a very high percentage. Are we okay killing people? I think we're okay killing people. Let's see if we can get anybody else interested. You join? Okay, that's fine. That's another 64. Yes, you're already joining. It's 14. So that puts us up at 70... 84 and then 96 which is maxed because it maxed out at 95 okay cool just thinking if there's anything else we need to do no guess just hope that we gain enough extra power over time uh you know what i could do switch you on to raise levy size which will in theory make this less close um, chance that we get an agent is closing in. Scheme success chance goes up. Chance that it is discovered. I'm going to say no. Don't do that. Aha, we got rid of the faction for a second. Curses, it's been discovered. Um, well, I guess I'll get rid of it then. Abandoned faction. It's not good. However, <laughs> yeah, we're running into a few issues of our mercenary companies. Demand artifact. No, you can't have the former Bells of Santiago. Are you crazy? Uh, I may have to put this guy underneath a duke. I just hate the idea of doing it. What? Well, what's your de jure duchy? You tell me what... So, he is kind of de jure underneath you. You know what I could do? What I could do is I could put him underneath um, Battle uh, Yaz. Right? That, that splits his land in half, makes Battle Yaz stronger. I can then split out from underneath the county by giving it away. Yeah, by making Cordoba. Because this is all within Cordoba. I could make Cordoba, keep my capital. That would let me get rid of uh, Yayan as well here. I think this is a good plan. I think this is a good plan. So, immediately, I'm going to grant you. This vassal, which you should be happy about. This should increase your opinion of me significantly. Nice. You're now a powerful vassal, but that's okay. Look at that. I now have a spot in the council. Are you good at stewardship? Absolutely not. Well, okay. You're the best steward I got. Let's go. Let, wait, are you better at stewardship? No. Okay, that's fine. So we have this guy in. He does have 30 intrigue, which is why I was like, are you better at stewardship? Um, well, if I made you to intrigue... This thing, if I... No, he's really the only stewardship guy I have, unfortunately. I don't really need this much intrigue. Okay, so that killed the... This will kill the faction, I think, because we moved the guy out of it. Yeah, well, that guy left. Good. I can now split um, Battle Yaws by making Cordoba. Yeah, this seems good. So we'll just let our troops reinforce and see what happens. Um, Invite to Academy. We should be for... Uh, or to Activity. Uh, sure, let's go to an activity with you. We're going to a feast. Uh, Scrounger life. Um, uh, Ubeid has become a permanent fixture of my court and an expensive one. Uh, he's eating a lot. Okay, I can dismiss him as my court jester. And Oh, this guy. And then put this guy in him as my court jester. He's also my court physician. Find him quite funny or get this leech out of my sight. Uh, let's try and get a friendship with our court physician. We don't really want him to kill us. That seems like that would be bad. Alright. Uh, higher standards of courtesy gives us prestige, or he can gain opinion of me and I gain stress. I would like him to gain opinion of me. I would like a friendship with you. Moving closer to conciliation. What was that noise? The antiquarian position? Oh, maybe it was all those positions emptying at once? Who died? You did. You're my chancellor. 
Well, you're only good at Chancellorship, and you love me. Yeah, okay, I think I could probably put you in at Chancellor. Seems good to me. We now have a bunch of positions open in our uh, court. Let's uh, go and fill them. It's our cousin filling that one. Court tutor, we have nobody. Uh, you can also take the that position here. Court jester, we currently have nobody in here. We could put in uh, you, I suppose. But I'm not really that worried about it. We'll leave that empty for just now. Cool. Chill. Stress goes down thanks to ending the feast. Everyone's opinion of me goes up. How are we looking? 20%. That's what we like to see. A peasant's rabble, less good, but we're getting there. You guys give me 50 gold. I really do appreciate it. Call Hunt. Uh, we could do. I think we're okay. Right, continue chilling. Where are we at? 323. Okay. Where are we at in terms of converting? 10 months left. Oh, I haven't yet got to the level I need to here yet. There's been a lot of pausing. Okay. Mercenary companies are all gone. That's going to make us look like we just lost a whole bunch of power to the AI, I'm, I'm assuming. But the Liberty Faction, only a tiny bit stronger because we already uh, destroyed it. My court physician, we've still got this thing. Oh, a, a passant had decided to let him continue his parasitic life at my court. Um, I wasn't expecting more than his over-the-top tales of poverty and ridiculously flourishing comments. Um, but recently I've noticed that his stories are getting funnier, his rhymes sharper, and his compliments more pleasing. Making my court poet? Are you a poet? You're actually a poet? Fantastic. You can have the job due to being the only person I've ever seen who's actually qualified to do the job. Alliance disappeared because these people are no longer betrothed? Why not? Oh, because you're dead. Alright, well, my brother needs to marry. That's fine. I think we're fine leaving our brother for a little bit unless we can find another daughter. Like this one, potentially. You are going to marry my brother. Great. That gets us another alliance within internally, which will then kill that faction. Wonderful. Faction is well and truly dead. Which is where we want to be. Five months left on the conversion. Right. Let's see, demand payment. We have another daughter called Yasmin. Cool. Uh, I will demand payment, which pushes hostility forward, which is the only reason I demanded payment uh, for, like, that little amount. Okay. Pause. True oath of friendship. Yeah, sure, we're, we're, we're BFFs. Do I gain stress for uh, demanding payment from you as a BFF? Let's see. I do, but, you know, I did it anyway. So, to get another 5 for the hostility phase. We can take Faithful, which gives same faith opinion plus 5. Great. We're one year off being able to convert people. Although, that was your father. We can maybe convert you now. Yep. Send you a little gift. Convert. Yes. Wonderful. He's now converted. Uh, that's what we like to see. Right. Any uh, characters who need to be converted? So it's still set to not that. Uh, I think we're fine. Well, sort by rank. Just make sure it actually sorts. Yeah, okay. So nobody above count rank is um, like wrong. Although that doesn't really give us that many people. But that's fine. Having him convert is nice. Let me check the rest of the land. Yeah, I need you to convert actually. Yeah, we'll demand it. Cool. Anyone else in a uh, religious land that I still need to convert? You? Oh, you're the right religion. Oh, yeah. You, you're cool. You can stay. Um, so it's that land. Looking at the kingdom, it's this land. Okay, wait. This is wrong, but that's within a different kingdom. That's fine. Right. Okay, I think we're good. So now, you can convert this land down here. We're at 12 of 18, right? 12 of 19. Okay, so we're getting there. We're definitely getting there on that one. 
four years left. We can speed that up because once we get... Um, this is the wrong place. So I'm letting my brain catch up to where I am. Uh, once we get... The thing in here. Yep, once we get this one. <laughs> uh, that'll make it go 25% quicker. Which means that'll only take three years. So it's three times by seven. So we're talking 21 years till we convert it all. Which should be fine. I don't think we're going to hit hostility that quickly. And even if we do, we're not going to blast through it. We have some control over how quickly we go through phases. So that's good. Right. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.